Hello, paparazzi, and welcome to our training this morning. Uh, we're super excited to be here. Uh, hopefully, you've got onboarded. Hopefully, you've got the app ready to go. You're signed in. You've got your merchant services signed up. And guess what the next step is? you got to load your inventory in there to sell, right? Absolutely. So that's what we're here for this morning. And so we'll just jump right into it. So we'll turn the time. We have AQ here again. And we'll turn the time over to her to uh, show you how to get that inventory into the app and ready to go and sell. So there you go. Thank you. All right. I'm excited. All right. So uh, I have some inventory here, some amazing pieces that were my inventory, right, that I need to get into the app. This is existing inventory uh, that I have. So tomorrow's training is going to be talking about how the magic happens when you place your uh, orders for new releases and everything. But today is about importing your existing inventory. So uh, I've got my app here. I am using an iPad. Um, but I also, at the end of this, am I going to show you how it works on an Android? Because personally, uh, I'm natively an Android person. So, uh, I want to make sure that we show to both, uh, both applications here. So, uh, I've got my app up here. We're going to transition and show you, uh, the screen, uh, so you can see everything that I'm doing, uh, and show you just how easy it is. So, uh, the first part that I'm going to show you here is just being able to scan your inventory. And it's really as simple as it sounds. You see here, I'm starting from where we left off yesterday. I got approved for my merchant account. So I'm going to click on the hamburger button, the menu button there, and I'm going to go and click on inventory. So you see here, I also have some inventory already in here. You're probably starting from a blank slate. Don't worry about that. We're going to get you right as rain here. And you see here at the top, top right-hand corner underneath my battery uh, percentage, you have a plus sign. That plus sign is how you add. Plus is the universal sign for adding. So we're going to click add. And I am just going to hold it over a piece. Did you see that? It happened so fast. I don't know if you guys saw that. So let me go ahead and add that here. I'm going to say I have four of those uh, in here. And down here at the bottom, you see add and add and scan. Add means I just want to add that one. Add and scan is your continual scanning. I have more here. You saw that. I have more to scan. So I'm going to click add and scan again. Now watch how fast this is, okay? So I'm going to say add and scan. Now my camera's coming back up. See that? It happened so fast, you're, you might miss it. So let me, let me cancel that and I'm gonna slow it down for you and not hold it over a piece and show you the camera. So you see here, there's my camera. So I'm gonna hold it nice and still, hold the piece up, put it in that box, bring it into focus. You have to remember lighting. That's why I laid all mine out because the lighting is much better that way. So that's as simple as adding and scanning. So let me explain what we have here on the screen now that I've scanned this piece. So how many is how many of this piece do I have in my existing inventory? So I'm gonna say I have four. Item number, what we uh, use item number four is for your own personal management of your inventory. If you use bins or a numbering system, that's what you're gonna use item number four. Now it is very important to know how item number works. It is an alphanumeric field, so it means you can use letters and numbers, and it has a max character limit of six characters, so no more than six alphanumeric characters. You cannot use dots, dashes, or spaces. So we're gonna say bin one. Oops, I didn't move my mouse. Bin one, I changed my quantity there. So I wasn't paying attention. So that's where my item, this item is going to reside. So when I get an order uh, for this item, I know exactly where to go to pull that item because it's going to show up downstream uh, on orders and everything. So it makes it easy for you to fulfill. So as I go through this process, I'm going to show you again. Now add and scan. And there we go and you can see it brings up the uh 
camera and the item and the image and everything for you. All of this is all based on your information linked with Paparazzi's database for inventory. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna do just one more and show you just how amazing this is. This I know was a hot item, and I think Jeff, you were saying it sold out or close to selling out. It sold out quick. So oh, see how quick it came up there. If you have the lighting just right, it is that fast. Uh, I was working here on the table. Um, I have it's I can't really show you here, but you can see you, I'll I could get a picture of it, but. Uh, I have all my items laid out in a line. And the other day when I was just doing a simple test to do everything, I literally held over my my camera and I went boop, 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 boop through all of them. And it worked amazingly. So that is the add and scan functionality, the inventory scanning functionality. Uh, that's a great way for you to get all of your existing inventory into your Premier application. So I know many users also have uh, Shopify sites or other uh, e-commerce solutions that you've used and you've used the uh, export files that Paparazzi has provided for you on your orders to put that inventory into that other e-commerce solution. So this isn't the only way that you can import your inventory. You do have the ability to do an export from that system. When you export it, uh, you will need to find that file in that e-commerce system. All of them will have a download inventory feature. Uh, so we can't really speak to every single uh, e-commerce system out there and where you'll find that. Uh, know that that will be something you need to find on your own. Uh, but then you do have, you will export it from that system. And you only need three pieces of information to import your inventory into the Premier app uh, if you have uh, that inventory file from another e-commerce system. So all you need is the SKU. That is the paparazzi uh, barcode. That P number uh, is the paparazzi SKU. And then you need the quantity, self-explanatory, how many of that item. And then the third column is item number, exactly what I just showed you there. That's that location. Uh, you put it into a CSV format. Uh, there are instructions in the tutorials online that we uh, have provided to you through the help content. Uh, and then you'll go into your back office and you'll upload that. I don't wanna to spend too much time on the importing uh, inventory file because that's for the super, uh, Super users who love spreadsheets. Uh, spreadsheets aren't for everybody. Uh, we love the camera solution because it is so easy, so fast. You saw how fast these were coming up for me. Um, I know that the tutorials for using the CSV imports are available in your help content. Uh, I do want to transition over to now the uh, slides that I have here because I did, uh, we have a little bit of a technical situation where I couldn't do the screen share on my Android phone to do this uh, casting. So I took screenshots of everything and I wanna show you that uh, here and show you just how slightly different it is between uh, an Apple device and an Android device. So these are screenshots from my phone a little bit earlier ago and you see here the plus button isn't in the top right hand corner like it is on uh, the Apple, it is down here at the bottom. So you click the plus sign. I am in dark mode, so obviously my screen is black, but, oops, sorry. Uh, it's in black, but uh, the pink plus button will bring up your camera. And when it does, you're gonna notice the other difference between uh, Apple and Android is that Android does not actually use uh, the square, line it up in this space. Um, it can pick it up, generally speaking, from just about that. It picked it up pretty quickly for me at just that, that distance there in that screenshot. Uh, and then once it does pick it up there, you do have uh, the same kind of UI. You're gonna tell us how many you have to import and the item number there. And you have the same two functions, add, just adds that one and you'll go back to the inventory and then add and scan is your continual 
go through and scan, scan, scan. So I am, I before I wrap up, I want to show you one last feature. So some of your labels, uh, I'm going to pick one here. Um, I'm going to show you just real quick. Some of your labels, if they are not 100% flat, right, your camera may not read it as well as it could. Or uh, some of the labels get smudged and the barcode isn't as readable as it could be, right, um, from all different reasons, right? Um, so if it isn't 100% readable on your camera when it picks it up, and you are struggling, I do want to go back to the tablet and show you one final feature here. So uh, if, you're, if you're struggling to find the right angle to get this and it's not working, you're going to see down at the bottom the manual manually enter barcode. And that's available on both devices here. And you do have the ability to, to type in that Barcode, just give me a second, RDXX, uh, what's that, 164, XX, submit, and it will bring it up as well. So uh, know that if it's not scannable for any reason, um, that it's the camera isn't picking it up because of lighting or uh, the label has been somewhat smudged or deteriorated, uh, you can manually enter those that way and it brings it right to the same screen as well. Uh, and that is, it's just that easy to get your existing inventory in. So uh, tomorrow we're going to be talking about doing your wholesale orders. Uh, how the magic happens that when you place your order for new releases um, or uh, replenishing your blockbuster stock uh, or your fashion fix orders, uh, how the magic it happens from placing those orders and how they get into the app without having to go through all of this uh, for all of your orders. Uh, so uh, if you don't have a, a wholesale order, you have a chance today uh, on today's new releases to shop. So, yeah, you do. So, um, once you've you you've got the app going and it's and your store is created, any order from here on out is going to show up, and we're going to show you tomorrow what to do with that. Um, you can just import orders very quickly. We'll also show you how to scan in your hostess rewards, uh, packs of jewelry like Fashion Fix, that, that kind of stuff uh, tomorrow. So that's really really cool. Um, but go out there, start scanning in your inventory. Yeah. yeah. Get get it loaded so it can start selling it and all that kind of fun stuff. So. And Jeff, you had a, a saying as we were going through the the beta testers that I think we should definitely reiterate here was you know you have a lot of inventory, uh, so you don't eat an elephant whole, right? You you eat it one bite at a time. One bite at a time with a little bit of barbecue sauce. Yes. And. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know, start small. So if you're going to go live tonight, maybe scan in some pieces that you're going to sell tonight and invoice people those. And um, so you don't, I know some of you are staring at your boards. I've already opened these up and I'll, you know, uh, you're kind of freaking out, that kind of stuff. So just take it. It may take some time for some of you, but you'll get there just one step at a time. Yeah. You don't sell all of your inventory when you go live at one once. You don't have to get all of your inventory in there. Anything else? I think we've covered it all, so get out there and start scanning. As always, thanks for joining us, and this replay will be available in our, I don't know what you call that. Uh, uh, I think we called it the training library. The training library, and the link is in your back office, so we will be posting this as, as soon as we're done. So thanks for joining us, and uh, uh, have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow. Sound good? Bye, Paparazzi. <laughs>